What's going on everybody? It's Ricky with Video Homicide back with another uh, little collection video slash movie spotlight video. I plan on doing a lot of these in the near future, especially with uh, you know October being over and me kind of scrambling to make videos. Like I know there's tons of stuff I could be talking about, but I really want them to be worthwhile. I don't want to just talk about every fucking movie, you know, every random film. I want to talk about stuff that I love that personally affected me as a kid. And uh, this movie is no different. This movie from, I believe, 1972, uh, 1971, we got Stanley Kubrick's A Clockwork Orange. Uh, this is actually a sealed copy with the uh, Cinema One price sticker still on there. Of course, 1995 for this bitch, back probably uh, early 2000s. But anyways, uh, assuming you've already read the story slash seen the film, I'm just going to be talking about... You know my own personal experience with the movie not so much a total like movie review but uh, the gist of the film is a, um, a a gang member kind of uh, goes a little over the edge and ends up getting double crossed by his gang ends up in prison and then gets out after being treated with this like uh, experimental mind altering um, program that makes it whenever he comes in contact with either violence or sexuality or sexual shit whatever it is he gets sick to his stomach and then uh, by the end of the film, he ends up kind of just by chance showing up at the home of one of the persons that he wronged in the past, and that person was sort of uh, had his own plan for him. So anyways, I think Clockwork Orange is one of those movies, when I was a kid, me and my dad, because he would, he, like, I've talked about it a million times, so he would show me anything, he didn't give a fuck, um, and we used to call this movie Bad Alex. So he, we would be like, let's watch a movie, and he would say, what do you want to watch? And I'd say, let's watch Bad Alex. Because I thought he was so badass, like, and he was like a, a bad guy as well. Like, same with the Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Dead, and I, like any kind of zombie film we called dead guy movies. And uh, so it would be like, let's watch a dead guy movie, or let's watch Bad Alex, or this or that, you know? So there was like that whole little, you know, thing that's embedded in my memory, especially in terms of being like a, a fan of, of movies. So uh, I, I think this, this movie, it is violent, you know? It was way too. You know, it was an intense film to show me at such a young age, but I didn't, like, again, I've talked about this in the past, everyone that I know that grew up playing Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, watching, you know, all kinds of, like, crazy slasher films and all that stuff, no one went nuts, so I think that you already have to be fucking nuts in order to, you know, become a nut job and do something even fucking more crazier than that, but anyways, uh, I love this film. This is not the, obviously, because it's sealed, this is not the version of the film that I grew up with. I couldn't find it. I know it's on this wall somewhere, but there's like, you know, you probably, I know you can't see, but there's like piles of canvases and stuff all lined along the front of this fucking shelf. So I was like, you know what? I know where this one is. So there it is. So sealed VHS, unfortunately, and surprisingly, I actually don't have the movie on DVD. I thought I did. I, I bought it and I, and then I called my dad and, or I, I hit up my dad. I'm like, yo, you got Clock Orange on DVD? He's like, yeah. So that's where that would have went. But it's fine. Uh, moving along, uh, we got the Clockwork Orange novel or novella, which is just like a, a short little, how many pages are we talking? Like a 140 page book. And unfortunately, like this copy has like, I would say like the best cover art, but it has no uh, glossary in the back of the book. So you kind of have to either have Google on standby or you just have to be able to deal with some slang that you may or may not understand this book is a very short read you could read it in a, in a, in a day no problem i did and uh, i actually read this at the gym believe like th that's how fucking short it is you can just zoom through it and it plays exactly excuse me it plays exactly like uh the the, the movie and you know and this is one of those cases where like your your mind is kind of tainted but in a good way because uh when i was reading this i had malcolm mcdowell in my head the whole time and um, it worked out perfectly. Same with, I think, like, Harry Potter. You know, I think I read the second Harry Potter novel. Me and my mom, like, when I was younger, my mom was trying to, like, get me to, like, read. Even though I liked reading, but, like, you know, I, I liked reading, but it had to be stuff that I gave a shit about. And I remember she got me the Harry Potter book, too. And we started reading it. And then, like, after, like, a little while, we were like, eh, fuck this. Let's <laughs> fuck this movie <laughs> or fuck this book. But, uh, you know, but not, not to say I didn't have or I did have Harry Potter the actor, um, Daniel Radcliffe, I had him in my head the whole time. And that's what happens with books if you've seen the movie first. A lot of times, like The Outsiders, that's an example of I read the book first. 
So I had my own like image of them in my head. And then as soon as I seen the movie, it was like pff, fucking game over. Uh, a, a, real quick, another book that I really want to check out is the Warriors book, I believe, by Sol Urich. And apparently it's way more graphic. It was it was written way earlier, I believe, in the late 60s. So that would be really interesting to check out. But yeah, this is put out by uh, Penguin Essentials. And uh, it was a really fucking good book. I'm glad that I, I got this. It took me a while to find this. Like, I knew I had it, but I just, like, it wasn't... I have probably about, like, I don't know, maybe, like, 30 books, like, on my little... Um, wall unit that has my dvd player vcr all that kind of stuff so there's a bunch of movies down there or books rather and i thought this was down there but it wasn't it was in my uh, bedroom and in my bedroom it's a fucking there's just tapes like piled and books like it's it's madness still and i've lived here for almost a year uh the final thing i want to show and probably one of the coolest things i found this this is i believe an original print like from back then i believe it's from 1972 first print yeah this is uh essentially uh the script of clockwork orange okay based on the novel by anthony burgess stanley kubrick's clockwork orange with a beautiful it's like a beautiful like uh glossy cover it has a picture of kubrick on the back with with a camera and uh it's it's full of like you know it's got the f pictures and the script and all that stuff like what's happening and really badass stuff this was 10 bucks this is a fucking steal in my opinion i i remember i seen this like you know like when you sometimes like when you're at a bookstore or a movie store wherever it is and you're kind of like doing that fucking you know that that head slant look and then you just like see something that sticks out and clockwork orange i was like what the fuck is that I, at first i thought it was just the book and then i opened it up and i said oh man this is coming home with me and like it, it, diff it separates everything by real. So real seven, uh, real ten, like just badass stuff, man. Really cool find for for ten bucks for sure. Um, yeah, this is a movie that is not for the faint of heart. And I, I showed people the film, uh, like in high school. I showed a couple of buddies, and they were like, they either thought it was awesome or they thought it was like fucking weird. I showed a buddy uh, heavy metal one time at my house, and he like he, he was like. I think he was trying to make it out like I was showing him like some weird like sexual like anime cartoon like porn thing and I was like no dude like this is like you know especially like with the den one um but like what like I, I think I was just showing him the thing just for um the Harry Canyon story which is the taxi cab story which I think is the best thing that came out of heavy metal like that world is like the world that I consider a lot of my characters and stuff living in you know what i mean like my own original characters like uh the the not so distant future where you know other worlds have came and like they've domesticated on earth and we've had to kind of, you know there's been like a civil rights with with alien movement like all that kind of stuff uh really <clears throat> fun stuff okay so you know but it, it but those are movies of a different time and not everyone is into that kind of stuff you know a lot of people especially nowadays like if you tried to show someone clockwork orange and all they've been watching is like Marvel movies, they would probably think you just showed them like rape. Well, it is got rape in the film. That's one of his principal interests, along with Beethoven and ultra violence. But you know what I'm saying? Say, like with my heavy metal experience, like it's it, it all goes to with what you're comfortable with. Like there's a lot of people out there that were very sheltered, very babied. Like you know, like not saying that's a bad thing, but I'm just saying like uh, it kind of what my dad, all the movies that he showed me, sort of prepared me for what was to come. So by the time movies like you know, the Dawn of the Dead remake came out when I'm about like 12 years old. I was like, this is cool, but have you seen the original Dawn of the Dead? Like, I remember saying that so many times, like, yeah, but have you seen the original? Like when they go into the gun shop, like, cause I feel like the gun store scene was one of the things I always talked about when, when explaining that movie. Like there's a scene where they go into this gun store and there's just, they're taking all these guns and stuff. And like, that's kind of recreated in the sequel or in the remake, but it's not as like, you know, like, they're sort of pressed for time right there. Like, in, in the original, like, they're just, like, casually just, like, you know, gun galore. Like, it's so fucking cool. And, you know, and, and I always loved, my, my dad always says this, like, the scene where they're in, like, the little bakery or whatever it is. And, like, um, Flyboy grabs, like, this little loaf of bread. And then Peter just, like, grabs this huge loaf of bread. And he's like, it says something in Italian. I forget what it was. But really fun stuff. So, yeah, I plan on doing these types of videos a lot in the near future. I actually... uh I'm not going to spoil what the next movie is, but I do have like a couple of uh, 
I, I know I have at least one book to accompany the film, so we will talk about that when we get there. So with that being said, I appreciate everybody for watching. Leave a 666 in the comments. Stay tuned for a lot of fun little how do you do's because, um, yeah, it's I got some exciting stuff to cover. I'm actually about to work on a painting right now that I started last night, so I appreciate all the support. You know, everyone fucking... It seems like it's starting to, like, turn into, like, a bit of a community. You know what I mean? It always has, but now, you know... You know like, there's, like, a lot of names to name, so, like, Trash Dash, Retro or Die, Michael Brown, Radioactive Blob Fuel, like, Casey, all these motherfuckers that come through, what, Readers 1717, like, all you guys that just come and just, like, you know, chat and stuff like that, it's awesome, and hopefully I can bust out a, uh, um, you know, a live stream over the weekend, mate, possibly, there's a possibility, I will say that, because I do have... Uh, something to do Friday night and I also have something to do on Saturday in the afternoon so I'm gonna try my best it's, there's a good chance it might not happen but uh if, if it does it does if it doesn't it doesn't so thanks for watching and adios